Hello, and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor, and we are back in the Great Hall of Tumladen, so let us hear what Lady Terenis wants us to do now. Why do you interrupt me? You know well of my interest in the war, Beriathan. However, I am particularly curious about the affairs of my brother Denethor and my sons in Minas Tirith. My sons have sent me many letters here in Tumladen, but as soon as all these folk arrived, the letters stopped. I do not know if some terrible fate befell one of Minas Tirith's couriers upon the field, or if the war has reached the city so soon. My sister? Nay, the men of Losarnak saw a courier cross the Erui, but he has not arrived since. Search the road to east of Tumladen and all, and tell me if the courier still rides for Tumladen. Why do you interrupt me? It is true that none of our foes have yet made an assault against Tumladen, but I believe it to be only a matter of time. In the past days, I have seen the guards speaking to the people and abandoning their posts for hours at a time. And for what? To speculate about the fate of Minas Tirith and the truth of the Battle of Pelargir. Such matters are not of their concern. If only they knew the truth, they would know how important it is that it remains secret. I have a mind to scold them for their foolishness, but instead, I leave this matter to you. Why do you interrupt me? I have heard reports of the Haradrim scouting their way up the hill toward the beacon of Minlas, and I worry for the folk of Arnak. It is home to many warriors, but as with our own, so many have gone to my brother's aid in Minas Tirith. The Haradrim have not made a move against Tumladen, but perhaps that is not their purpose in Upper Lebanon. Whatever the truth of the situation, they hasten to the east across the Erui, and if they succeed in their assault, through Arnak. I ask this of you. Rout the Hanadrim and ensure the safety of the people of Arnak. Okay, so there are a couple things we can do inside um, the city before we leave. Namely, scolding some of the guards that are spreading rumors. That's what we're gonna do, first of all. And then if we can if we can turn that quest, we'll do so before leaving. Tomb Laden, um, as I'm not sure how will the story continue after this point. So here we have a, the first guard we need to scold. What's the harm in a bit of speculation? I mean, you, you'll get all the answers you want in time, so I, I think a little bit of patience doesn't hurt anybody right now. Maybe it's a stressful to wait, but it's it's for the best. <clears throat> Were not you here for the battle at Pelargir? What keeps such heroics a, se a secret? Rumors do travel fast, as you can see. But yes, I was there at the battle of Pelargir, and I will say no more. I'm biting my tongue right now, not to say anything else about the Battle of Pelargir, as you can imagine, but no. I made an oath. I hear that the steward sent his son back to Osgiliath. Would not such a charge be folly? Well, I cannot tell. I've been far away from Gondor for too long. I don't know what the state of things is in Osgiliath. It sounds bad. I, I will give you that, but who knows? I mean, yeah, don't, don't make me worry about farming right now. I have plenty of things on my plate to start thinking about them. Why do you interrupt me? I see how you look at me, Beriathan. You know that I would not be so easily dissuaded from my curiosity, and you wonder how I could be so bold to demand that others abandon theirs. You see, these men are not like me, and you would do well to remember that. They hold their position here to protect the people, not to spend their days engrossed in speculation. Yeah, I mean... At this point, it doesn't matter how similar their curiosity is to that of Terenis. 
they simply cannot know and the less they ask the better, so... So yeah, just make, gotta make sure that no more rumors spread and, and let us actually look for the courier and make our way to the beacon of Minlas. Fortunately, both things are along the same road. So let us go, I mean... The more I think about it, the, the more I, I want to get going and, and the more I want to press on. We are getting really close to home. I'm getting homesick, I tell you. Oh my god. I'm, I'm getting chills once again. <laughs> Just thinking about it. About Minas Tirith. But, yeah, I'm not, not gonna be hasty. I am instead going to enjoy the journey through East Gondor. There are many things to like in these areas. I'm gonna enjoy the journey and try my best not to worry about the destination as much. You see a fallen rider and horse in the distance. Well, the horse is right here. And here we have the Fallen Rider, of course. The courier tried to escape the Haradrim, but was failed as he fled. Well, some of these letters are very easy to find, but I don't see the last one. Okay. We'll need to bring those letters to Lady Terenis, of course. Uh, no biggie. But now we need to to defeat the Haradrim here around Minlos. I'm not sure if we will ever get back to this area, if we will have any quest at the beacon after this point. So I'm just gonna continue my way there, make sure I, I get the deed completed before we leave. I mean, we are already here. Let us continue with our compilation or of of beacons. Discovered Minlas. Perfect. Scout of the Southern Kingdom and Zeal at level 45. And here we have some NPCs, so we will definitely here get uh, some more quests around this area. Here we have as well a bridge that I think will take us to the town of Arnak that we are not going to visit yet. That's not the time for that yet. Uh, but it's good to know. I didn't remember this path existed. You have scouted the beacons in central Gondor and eastern Gondor. Scout of the southern beacon. I do like the ring of it, but I think gonna keep what I have. The Morgul Host, Legacy of Osgiliad, Ruins of Ithilien, Strongholds of Hope, Pressure of Eastern Gondor. Yeah, once again, those pressure deeds are really difficult. And I do remember the, the treasures of Eastern Gondor being particularly hard in comparison to, to the others. Oh 
talk to a guard at Minlos. Okay, so we will be sent to these guys that we've just seen. So, once again, no Vigi here. Trying to get some task items. I don't remember which ones are needed for the task board in Eastern Gondor, but better to, to have some, just in case. Here we have Othor. The lady sent you, did she? Indeed, you have come at a fortuitous time. You see, the Haradrim have been railing under the cover of trees nearby, and they mean to invade Arnak. If you would keep watch with us for a time, we would be most thankful. It is a grim day, traveler. My men and I have held out here for hours now, and the Hanadrian continue to push their advantage their advance against Darnak. We have held them back for hours now, but I grow concerned that their numbers shall soon overwhelm us. They stuck the road to Tumladen, and we in turn have barricaded the bridge into Arnak. Would you lend us your aid? If even one of my men can rest as you defend the bridge, it would bolster our resolve for the coming assaults. My men have spotted the Haradrim approaching from the west. We must drive him back. Are you ready, Beryathan? Yeah, of course, let them come. Two arms. We cannot allow them to breach Arnak. Yeah, don't worry. Got you covered. They are not giving up so easily this time. Well, neither are we. You have defended the bridge into Warnak? Really? That was it? Do not think us weak, you snakes. I thank you for your aid, Warden. That should break their assault for some time. This assault troubles me, though. For what reason would the Hanadrim throw themselves against the walls of Arnak instead of passing across the Erui? We have not the men to guard the crossings and could not repel their advance there. Return to the lady and tell her of my concerns. I do not believe we should have this matter to speculation. Alright, uh, a very short stop at the beacon too. So yeah, we're taking advantage of our milestone here at Tomb Laden. And before we go back to the lady, I do want to double check really quick just which task items I need to keep in mind. Uh, clipped ears, clipped wings, damaged furs, pitted warships. Shatter hatches, torn skins, and toxic field. So most of them are items that we were already collecting during our time in Central Gondor. So that should be fine. We still don't have enough for a full turn in of all our available tasks. So I'm not going to do that. But once again, another picture of this area. The Gondorian architecture. And that should be it for now. So back to the to the lady. Beg your pardon. This is most concerning. One of them has been to battle as much to read, and the other two make me fear for my brother and my sons. Lord Faramir and his rangers were sent to Osgiliath and failed, but my brother has sent them forth again. Has he taken leave of his senses? What fate will befall Denethor city if Lord Agvor and Aragorn do not reach it in time? I must think on this, Beryathan. 
I beg your pardon? You have my thanks for keeping the people of Arnak safe, Beriathan. It is yet another thing my sister could not manage without my help. You see, she and her husband lead Arnak, but that is a story of which I do not wish to speak more. It is strange indeed that the Haradrim would more readily set siege to Arnak instead of fording the Erui at the crossings. Why would they march directly into superior numbers instead of hastening to the east? I believe this might be a matter for you and Lord Angbor to investigate. Why do you interrupt me? Oh, some completed ally to Pilar Gear. Great, great. We might be able to get to Kindred or very close to it. And uh, that would be great. I, I do want to get the horse from the Quartermaster there. So that's that's nice. Uh, did completed ally to Pilar Gear. Anything else of note in here? I'll let you here. No, just the title. The usual stuff. Okay. As I said, I believe this is a matter best left to you and Lord Angbor. The Haradrim pose a dire threat to the people seeking refuge in Tumlaren, as well as that that dwell within Losarnak. We must discover what has divided their forces near the Erui. Lord Angbor is a man of battle, and I trust he will know what is best. He has since departed Tumlaren, but you may find him by the crossings of Erui if he and his men have not yet crossed into Losarna. May you be swift, Beriathan. Great. So, time to go to the crossings now, which is something that Lord Angkor also told us to do for the epic. But, of course, we don't have the quest dialogue there to remind us of it. But yeah, bottom line, we do need to get to, to the crossings of Erui. I think I'm gonna grab the worsted now. Uh, uh, I do want the extra speed. But uh, we can make our way there as fast as we can. But yeah, riding a worsted inside a settlement is not the wisest thing to do. I just hope we don't have any more issues with this thing. As soon as we're out in the open, that should be okay. There you are, Lord Angbor. 4,000 swords travel slowly. Ah, okay, yeah. I remember, yeah. We're, we're clearing the way for the company or the fearless host that Lord Angkor leads. Why don't they come to Losarnak through Minlas? I, I I would say the path is too narrow for them maybe and having an entire host cross through the city I think it's more troublesome than just going through the forts. So that's why we are Getting there to the Erui. And I think we're gonna find a few interesting things in here. We're almost there, as you can see. Oh, Lord Angbor is supposed to be atop this hill. You travel fast! Ah, Verathan, what has kept you? You tell Lord Angbor of the Haradrim's unusual behavior at the Beacon Minlas and Lady Terrenius' concerns. If their forces became divided at the river, perhaps more of their number have fled into the trees in the south. I know of a settlement to the south called Halak, but my men and I will not travel so far south as we advance to the east. Yet for once I agree with the Lady, the Haradrim in Upper Lebanon must be defeated if we are to leave these lands behind. I ask that you travel to Halak and aid the people there if you are able. It seems we must part ways again, my friend. But let us hope that our path will align in Lost Arnak. Oh jeez. So yeah, let us go to Halak first then. And uh, I, I wager after we help the people there, we will make our way to the crossings. So it seems the, the epic and, and the landscape quests 
are not fully aligned yet, but we're getting there. And I already don't like it. Fires at Halach? Is that... Yeah. This town is under attack. You have arrived at Halach, but it lies in ruin. Yeah, I can see that. Ah, a warband, Kasata. Let me see if we can fight this warband. Before we... Before we continue with this. Uh, I do want to give it a go at some of these warbands. While patrolling the plains of Upper Lebanon, you have encountered the brutal Haradrim captain, Kasata, and his warband. The folk of Upper Lebanon have inherited and killed by the raiding Haradrim and would be grateful to see such a dangerous foe gone from their lands. You should defeat Kasata and his warband before he can bring any further harm to the people of Gondor. It's a small fellowship warband, so maybe we can take him. I want to see how many adds does he have. What kinds of odds are there? We might be able to... Oh my god. To defeat him? Do we want to try this? I mean, we are already here. This is gonna... Might be problematic. Because yeah, they are... Right in the way. Yep. That's not gonna work. Oh my god. Nope. That's definitely not going to work. I don't expect it to work. I mean, it would be a, a marble. If it did. Oh. Well, we were so cl we, we were kind of close. Uh, we were able to defeat some of the adds, at least. Uh, but yeah, we would need to do a lot of running around and, and maneuvering. If anything, you gotta give credit where credit's due. And the, the warbands in the Central and East Gondor, at least, they do require the group they advertise. Not like, for example, uh, in in Helm's Deep. Well, in Western Rohan, some of them were kind of difficult. But in East Rohan, in Western Gondor, uh, in Wildermore too, you could solo many warbands that were labeled as Small Fellowship, Full Fellowship, even some Raid ones, if you know what you're doing. So for once, it's nice to see that you do need the group that the game is telling you to get. Even though that means we cannot uh, complete this on our own, at least not yet. What has become of our lords in the east, I wonder? Few come willingly to Halak these days, traveler. The Haradrim seek to oust us from our homes, but they shall not succeed. Not while I or the rest of the folk that remain still draw bread. If you will help us, we would be honored to count a warden among our number. Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. You must forgive me, Traveler, but I have much to do and little time in which to do it. Just today, we endured our fourth assault by the Haradrim in recent days, and we are growing worse for the wear. Many of our supplies were scattered in the rubble of the attack, and the goods we stored away on our boats must be recovered. There are others who yet remain such as Cirodon and Gore here. They may require aid in their tasks as well. I do have more yet to ask of you, but I cannot delay in my efforts any longer. When you have spoken to the others and gathered our supplies, I shall speak to you once more. Yeah, let us begin then.
Put that on. Okay. Oh, okay. This darkness is a weight on my mind. If only there were more of us, I would take up arms against this vile man, but I fear that time has passed. We now hold out as best we can, but you... You might be able to stand against them. My folk and I have endured many assaults now, and I have done my best to learn of the ways of the Hanadrim. With this knowledge, I hope to leave them crippled at the hands of an evil warrior. I wonder, are you such a warden? What do you need? There's naught but ill omens these days. Even after so many attacks, we still know little of the plans of the Haradrim aside from their slow advance across the Edwi to the east. I have seen under captains, or however they are named among their people, bearing small missives during their assault on Halak. I do not know if these are letters they have seized from settlements they have already raised, or their orders from some unseen master, but I wish to know, for the good of all in Lebanon and beyond. You are a hail warden and can't stand against the Haradrim. If you seek out their leaders near the banks of the Erui, you might be able to relieve them of the missives and shed some light on their designs for Gondor. There's not but ill omens these days. After the Haradrim left Halak during one of the raids, I followed some of their forces at quite a distance, mind you. I saw them encamped along the banks of the Erui, and a few among them had set to work on crafting crude bridge rafts. The crossings of Erui are wide indeed, but these men seemed to be preparing the way for an invasion. If their forces could cross the entire southern span of the Erui, the people of Levelin, Lost Arnach, and even the White City would be indefensible. I ask that you burn their bridge rafts and slay the woodworkers who crafted them before they can be used to any violin. Okay, things are escalating very quickly here. Uh, but it's good to see the people in Halak fighting back. Because after seeing after seeing the people after seeing the town in such a bad shape I was kind of expecting not much to do in here but no it's kind of funny it seems at least for now it seems the place in which you are gonna get more quests is actually Halak the town in ruins and not the other ones that are still in good shape Kinda curious, if you ask me. This darkness is a weight on my mind. They have gone again, but I am certain they shall return. The Haradrim have crossed the Anduin into our lands, but many more still await across these rushing waters. They have taken much from us indeed, but we shall not be broken. It has been my charge to keep the fires lit and our stomachs full, but the Haradrim have made this task more difficult with each passing day. This darkness is a weight on my mind. We have endured numerous assaults by the Haradrim now, traveler. Many of our number were killed in their earliest attacks, and more still fled to Tomb Laden. But I shall not be moved. However, their archers are swift on their feet, and in the midst of the last assault, they stole many goods of great import to us, including some of our food stores. Our people are determined, but we cannot maintain a defense if we are starved. If you can recover them from the archers, we shall be able to hold out for weeks to come. Okay, just one more boat because before we can go back to the lady and see what else she wants us to do. Any supplies in here? Kinda weird, I don't see them. Seems I'm in the wrong place. Oh, I forgot, gotta leave. Sorry, yeah, I died. And 90% of the times I die, I forget to get you back up. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, boy. to Glaziel. Let us go.
What has become of our lords in the east, I wonder? Iradon and Gorhir are good men, but they are not warriors. I trust they were interested in the raid as well? As for me, I have seen the strangest of things in recent days. Things that no mortal man could accomplish. Could it be lied the true might of our foes? Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. I have something to ask of you, Veriathan. Few others have heard me on this matter, but you seem the kind to hear the tales of strangers. In my youth, I often traveled the lands of Lebanon and spent much time upon the banks of its rivers. I knew well of the legends of our people as did all of the other children of Lebanon, but that was not the reason for my wandering. My father had taken ill in summer and the disease claimed him by spring. My mother went silent for a year's time and all looked upon me as a child of madness and misfortune. My only respite was in walking the banks of the five rivers and so I went. The Eri was nearest to my home and it too knew well of tragedy and death. It was there that King Eldakar slew the usurper long ago, but many others fell and blighted its shallows before the battle came to an end. It is said that the last of the five sisters, the Lone Lady of Edwi, once looked upon our people with fondness, but the horrors that occurred in her waters led her to spirit herself away. It may seem a different tale from my own, but it have not yet reached its ending. You see, I sat near the vault at the crossings one day and was overcome by the sadness of my family's fate. As I dried my tears, I saw something that has not left my mind in all my years. I saw the image of a woman's face gazing upon me from behind the falls. I dashed into the water and called out, but as soon as I drew close to the falls, the face had gone. To this day, I know the lone lady appeared before me and ever since I have felt close my belief in the sisters. The Haradrim do not respect our lands or rivers as we do, and they do not know to fear the ire of the five sisters. The Lone Lady should not again suffer the blood of men in her waters, and I ask that you seek her out at the crossings as I once did. May she watch over Lebanon and keep us from the evils of war. So, once again, uh, here we have some more of the uh, of the ladies. Uh, here we have, do uh, you remember, uh, Gilran, uh, the Sirith, my god, I, I forgot the name of this other river in here. And then we have uh, this other in here, which is the Edwi. And I'm led to believe this is the other river that comes from out of Tumladen. We have already met three of the five sisters. We're about to meet the fourth one. And from what I remember, at some point we will get a chance of meeting the last one as well. But we at least are gonna emit the fourth sister. That that much is certain. So let us begin by looking for the Haradrim we need to defeat. And some of the items we need to retrieve. And take a look at the reflections of the sun on the water. It looks sick. I mean, so far the Dawnless Day that we had in, in Central Gondor was all very dark, which is fitting of course, but I do like these red skies, especially at dusk. They give you a, a different sense of oppression. And they do talk about the war that's coming, so... I, I do like the look of it. It's very fitting in my book. And there seem to be plenty of things in here. Yeah, I think I already told you before, but one of the reasons why I don't like this kind of corpse looting quest as much is because at times, especially with these ranged enemies, you cannot pull a lot of them for later. And if you apply your dots, you still need to go back to loot the corpses. So, it's not what I was hoping for. I mean, it's, it's not something that I enjoy, particularly. Read the missive to the Haradrim, we have found one. Servants of Sauron the Great, 
the hour has come for our greatest triumph. The City of Stars has fallen, and our advance waits only on the darkness of dawn. Our, fo our forces vast and grows greater by the day. If you seek the spoils of victory and the favor of the Great Eye, you will travel at once to Osgiliath and rally with the Morgul host. The men of Gondor have lost all but the armor they bear, and so thin has it worn that none may stand in the path of our host and live. Okay, this doesn't bode well, especially considering we were kind of worried for Faramir already. So this doesn't improve things for us at all. If anything, now... Now you feel more compelled than before to go to... to Osgiliath. Do what you can. But that's not the way for us yet. Oh, they do like to keep their friggin' stunts and disarms. You are not fooling anybody, you are not... You are not achieving anything. That other monitor, we still need a few more of this. We're doing a lot of damage today. It seems our our allies are finally getting a hit of the content we are currently running, so So that would be great, the more we can do this kind of stuff. And the stronger that we get. Yeah, please die, thank you. Just need a couple more archers, just need to find a lone lady of the Edwi. One more here. We're going down. Do we go? Do we go to the lady? Let us try and turn this quest first. I'm not sure if. We're gonna get anything else at the crossing, so I, I wanna play it safe, you might say. I mean, we're, we were not that far from Halak in the first place, so I think we can turn a couple of these quests before we move on. This darkness is a weight on my mind. These are grim tidings, Varyathan. This missive fills me with dread, and I ask that you take it away from me. Do with it what you will, but remove it from my sight. The lady must be told of this. I only hope she can send word to the steward in time. There's naught but ill omens these days. As much I wish the Haradrim gone from our lands, I would gladly keep them from returning to their cruel masters in the east. You have done well to slow their advance even further, my friend. Let us hope that this delay leaves their plans undone. Okay, let us look for Gorg here really quick. It seems there are no more quests they will give us, or at least not until we complete this other one for, for Glaziel. Who knows? This darkness is a weight on my mind. Thank you, Vryathan. I shall see these goods brought to the others at once. We shall hide them away in secret places the next time the Haradrim dare attack Halak, for they cannot steal what they cannot find. Yeah, that sounds wise. You do that. Now I do need to go to the crossings of Erwi, it seems. Both for 
this quest and for the epic. Let us go, let us go. Anything else that we're missing here? No, it seems not. Here we are. Hadadrum threatened to overrun the crossings of Edwi. Yeah, and if you could die, please. Thank you. We need to talk to Wankbor, which we already know is atop this hill. Very good, my friend. Very good, my friend. You have disrupted the preparations of the Haradrim, and my men will be able to cross the Edwi without fear of southern fortifications. Even a force of, for of 4,000 can suffer many losses when attacking a much smaller force, provided the smaller force has time to prepare. Let us go to the meeting of the roads south of Imloth Melwin. Losarnak is a land of beauty, but we must not sh slow our steps to admire its sweet smelling flowers. There will be time enough for that when this war is won. We must go to Minas Tirith. The fields of the Pelennor outside the White City are encircled by a great wall, the Ramasehor through which we must pass. The south gate in the Ramas is located in the Haven of Harland. That is where we must go. First, we will do as Aragorn requested and see how far is the settlement of Imlath Melui to the north along the road. There is a meeting of roads just south of Imlath Melui in Losarnak. Let us go there and assess the situation. So the epic also needed us to defeat some of the Haradrim blocking the the crossings. Uh, we technically did that at other locations, but well, it counted. That's what mattered. This Haradrim lies round near a pile of river stones as his brethren battle nearby. The waters of the Eri churn violently as the Lone Lady appears. The Lone Lady's face flashes with anger and she does not respond to your words. Oh, you trespass as all others do. Be gone and sully my waters no longer. In the aftermath of your encounter with the Lone Lady, you have been assaulted by the Edwi itself in the form of armors once worn by the men who fought in the King's Tribe. While you cannot tell if these armors belong to Gondorians who fought for King Eldakar or Castamir the Usurper, you decide to bear them away to the people of Levenin, if only to deprave the Lone Lady this unsettling power. Once you have recovered enough armors, perhaps Glassiel of Halak will know what should be done with them. Please tell me we don't need to... To loot the corpses. Yeah, thank you. I don't want to do that. I think we'll, we've already had enough of that. So that means that way we at least can pull some of these guys, apply the dots what we, while we look for more. There's plenty of armors in here.
exactly. Just one more. Before we can go back. This seems like a good one. Yeah. Talk to Glaziel. Let us go then. Oh, I have already run out of space. That's great. Definitely great. Oh, jeez. Let us go to... Alak as soon as we can. I don't remember if there are any vendors in the air. The sooner we can get back to a populated town, the better. Ah, yeah, there are some vendors in here. That's that's great. Very thoughtful of you. Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. I am saddened to know the lone lady has grown so cruel in her rage. But these armors are of great import to the history of our people. It is true that many of the usurper's followers were left to rot in the waters of Edwy alongside their masters. But I never expected to see their armor pulled from the riverbed after so many centuries. I shall see that these are given to Lord Sirgon of Pelargir when this conflict has ended. As ruler of the home of the Ship Kings, he may decide our final place of rest. What has become of our lords in the east, I wonder? The Lone Lady has turned against us? All is lost, Beriathan. She has always been the most distant of the sisters, even in our stories of old. Yet, she was never so twisted as you describe. What has happened to her after these long years? And what can be done? Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. What can be done, Beriathan? Even if we succeed in pushing the enemy from Lebanon, the Lone Lady's fervor will deliver ruin into our lands and waters for years untold. It is clear that our woods no longer bear any importance to her. Her mind has been twisted by the return of great evils, and she will not rest until all have been punished for the deeds of the past. I fear that only her sisters might calm her now, but I have never looked upon them and I know not where they might hide away in such dark times. Seek them at the rivers Sidif, Cerny, Kelos, and Gilrain. I cannot promise you shall ever find them, but if you do, they must be told of the Lone Lady's madness. Even if you do not succeed, I shall know you did all you could for my people. Okay. So, where does that leave us? One, two, three... And four here in the Gilrine. So yeah, we will be meeting uh, the five sisters for this quest line, which is great. That way, even if you didn't do uh, some of the quests in in Lower Lebanon, you can still get to know all the sisters. So that's where we're headed next. However, let us leave it at here for today. That will give me the time to clear up some backspace before we continue. And I will see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.